The perfect love story. The kind where opposites attract, only he works for the NHS and I'm detained under the Mental Health Act. And sure, how much can you really trust someone's emotions when they've just met you, but just because I've only been in love 45 minutes doesn't make it any less true. And just because all of my rights have basically been taken off me doesn't mean we can't make it through. I don't just want anybody to escort me out on my half hour leave. I just want you. <laughs> and sure, they can assign you another case. You'll have other patients every once in a while, but I know it's you checking my file, thinking, oh wow, she's so interesting. Look at how much interesting shit they've mistaken for a mental disorder. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that you know too that it's out of order, that they think that they can keep us apart with six inches thick of bulletproof glass. Well, let them. Let them dismiss it. But the next time I'm sedated for getting too manic during countdown, just kiss me and risk it. And sure, you might only be free to see me at medication time, but all couples have problems. <laughs> and all couples find the time, schedule permitting, to talk about the day, their dreams, how they read the complete history of agricultural development in Nigeria in one sitting, and they talk about the weather. I just think we'd be great together. Ten years' time, we'll be sat down at dinner and we'll laugh about how they used to write in my notes that I should be restrained by female members of staff. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll stay adamant that I knew you loved me in every single way when you simply asked during a routine blood test, Emily, how are you doing today?